Uh, page 5, number uh, 588, near the top, you're giving a contract to T&M Associates or T&M Engineering for compliance and consulting services for the amount of $136,000. Uh, this is a major political donor to the freeholders and, and the other county crony uh, campaigns. $94,000 in four years. Uh, and you guys should be excited about giving them this $136,000. What it is, is workplace health, safety, compliance, and consulting services. It's, it's nothing. Nobody, nobody needs this. You might as well cancel it, please. Uh, except that, I guess when you look back, in uh, 2010, T&M gave the freeholders directly $15.6,000 into their campaign. 2011 gave $15.6,000. 2012 gave $12.8,000. 2013 gave fifteen. dollars uh, $0.6,000. So I guess you guys should really be excited about voting for this one because it looks like you're going to get another $15,000 coming up. Uh, Director Albert, in regard to 588, not really in regard to T&M, but what exactly do they do with this? Uh, workplace uh, safety, uh, free all the through you, uh, Chairman. Um, uh, compliance with workplace safety standards, uh, training of employees, uh, loss prevention services, uh, risk management, their on-call response, help with compliance audits to the state and the federal government, uh, updates to our hazard communication plans, a variety of services. Uh, I went out for an RFP. They were the successful responder. It was considered by consent. They were the only responder. Uh, the committee uh, chose them, and the price is $500 less than last year. What was the contract in the previous year? Do you know what the contract for the same service was last year? Yes, $136,000. How much was spent on that one? Uh, 136500 This year, it's $136,000. Thank you. Um, the uh, Director Albert, in the Providence, page 5. Again, uh, Resolution 588, if we just were made aware that this was a program that took place last year. Uh, a couple of questions I have is, uh, do we have to do this every year? Um, how much compliance and health and safety do we have to teach each of the employees over and over again? And if we do need to do it over and over again, can we have train-the-trainer programs? We have people in the department who are trained that next year they can train others. That's done for a lot of times in schools and proper organizations. They train themselves and they can train others. So you don't have to have consultants come in. Because this is roughly, if it's on a salary basis, so a year basis, and it's almost two full-time employees. That's a lot of compliance and consulting. And why are they doing so much? Are, are the employees not able to understand what they need to do? They have to have this constantly. Well, I'll try uh, through you, Mr. Chair. Um, there, you know, uh, we performed 52 um, compliance audits for our facilities every year, uh, 180 update plans. Uh, there's education and training on OSHA and other department specific topics. Uh, injury trends, safety meetings, at least 35 annual... They conduct the meetings. What's that? They conduct the meetings. Yes. Um, we participate in the meetings. We share the training. data. They're um, training us, correct? Yes. Yes. But we don't pay to have them train, come train us, right? No. No. And we, we um, uh, they train every department, um, and there are ongoing compliance requirements. It's a, it's a, we meet monthly. We meet monthly, um, uh, and they meet with the Correction Safety Committee, the Labor Safety Committee, the Executive Safety Committee, each of those monthly. So, you know, it's, a, it's an intensive program. Uh, 